It was the 23rd century, mankind's darkest hour. Heart rate and respiration, now Life support online. Initiating cryogenic freezing. Commencing pod lockdown. Fighting for so long, no one could remember the reason why it all started in the first place. All we knew is that there were two sides, the Coalition and the Alliance. For decades, millions died for the same piece of rock again and again. Finally, one side managed to gain the upper hand, the Coalition. The Alliance launched five sleeper ships. The hope was for them to begin again far from the war and strife that had befallen Earth, to start free from the prejudices that had divided us for so long. Each sleeper ship was christened after its patron nation. The Britonia, the Rhineland, the Hispania, the Casari, the Liberty. ships broke through the coalition blockade and headed for the Sirius system. One by one, the remaining Alliance bases were overrun until all that remained was Pluto. It was here the Alliance forces prepared for one gallant last stand. Something happened that no one could have ever imagined. They arrived. It was our first contact with another species, and for a moment we forgot our differences. We just stood there dumbfounded by its size and beauty. It was ironic that in those moments, we were finally united as a people. But this revelation could only be savored in those few bitter seconds. For these aliens had not come in peace.
blind luck, a young general survived the shockwave on the dark side of Pluto. His name was Atticus Rockford. Someone had to warn the colonists in the Sirius system that these aliens were coming. They needed to prepare, for mankind had found its real enemy, the Nomads. I knew then that I had been spared for a purpose. That was 800 years ago, when we came here to rebuild our lives. We've come a long way since then. We have grown, we have prospered, we have flourished. But we will never forget. call me all the way back here because of another fault, did you? Uh, no. What then? We found something. I'll be right down. Okay, Mr. Vance, we'll shut everything down. Come on, guys, shift's over. Over here. This is it? Yeah. It was locked in a sealed alcove on 6. The scanners couldn't penetrate it. The carvings look consistent with a period, but I've never seen some of these markings before. Did you see this? What? This groove. No. Wait. Maybe we should follow procedure. Vance, we don't need a droid to do this. It's not dangerous. You were saying? Look at you. What is it? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. It's been 27 hours. We'll be bringing the power back up for the next shift soon. Shame. It's been nice and quiet. It's a long way to Bretonia, Doctor. We'll need to leave early. So what did Dr. Quintain say? Did you send him the analysis of the artifact? Yes, he hasn't responded yet. I'm sure he's skeptical of our results. Not for long. I intend to make this one count. All the more reason to get some rest. Okay, okay. I'm too tired to argue. Good. Don't you worry, I'll close up here. I'll wake you at 0900.
Hello? reality they blew up because their communications really was overloaded by all those people talking. Well, I hope you enjoyed Freelance for the Motion Picture, and I'll uh, see you next time. President Jacoby has asked the LSF to investigate the sudden destruction of Freeport 7. No word yet on whether it was accidental or a deliberate attack. The first handful of survivors arrived on Manhattan this morning. Holy shit, Tread. What the fuck? He's Evo now. We're here for medical. Is there anyone seriously injured? One. Inside. He's got to go update his MySpace page. You get it? MySpace? Eh? Huh? Make sure he lives. He owes me some credits. Your concern is touching. We'll do everything we can. It may take a while. Officially, the Liberty Security Force maintains there is no proof Freeport 7's destruction was deliberate. But sources inside the LSF say they suspect the dangerous criminal organization, The Order. We will keep you up to date as the story develops. Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Freelancer! Uh, this is Freelancer with the Crossfire mod. Um, and it's also got some widescreen support and... I don't know, some other bullshit with it. Um, Mainly I didn't do much except for improve the music and uh, obviously the crossfire mod, so. Uh, what it does is adds a couple of ships and weapons as far as I know. A couple of new mechanics, um, which I figure Freelancer doesn't have that great of an end game, so probably this will make it more interesting. And apparently after it has like a custom campaign uh, that, that extends it, uh, I'm not sure if I will do that. I'm, mo I'm mostly interested in the main campaign, but I might do some of the stuff that they've created after. I don't know, because I... I'm kind of guessing they didn't get the same amount of like cutscenes and dialogue and stuff going for it. I don't, I don't know how it's going to be, so I guess we'll see, uh, won't we? So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just already amused by the mod. Like, it's just, it's kind of just funny to me how some of the characters are dressed. Like, they, they're, they're actual options. So, you know, what, what I've done is entirely intentional because it's amusing. All right, let's go to the ship. Oh no, no, we need to go to the bar.
He's got like a tattoo on his face and everything. I love it. A sidewinder fang. All we have is Liberty Ale, friend. Fine. Her name's Junko Zane. She's a tough one. Oh, well, why's that? She's LSF. All business. If it's a job you're wanting, that is. <laughs> On the other hand, if you're looking for something more. Well, the only thing I'm looking for right now is this drink. I know you. No, no, I don't think so. The news. I saw your face on the news. You're one of the Freeport 7 survivors, aren't you? Yeah. I heard it was pretty bad out there. You know, you're lucky to be alive. Ha. Huh. This one's on me, friend. It's the good stuff. Why? Because it's not every day a man has the chance to start again, huh? To your good fortune and liberty, sir. Well, it can't get any worse. The good stuff is Liberty Ale. Thanks. Alright, now watch us magically teleport to the entrance of the bar. Oh, there you go. So we gotta talk to Junko, who's changed her clothes somewhat. And just know I'm gonna be laughing the entire time because of her fucking giraffe neck. It's hilarious. I understand what you're saying, but I don't have nearly enough people. Juni, the environment has changed. Well, with groups like the Order taking more and more liberties, indeed now threatening our profits, some in the government feel that we need to increase our patrols in these areas. <clears throat> you, Junko Zane? Yes? I believe you have business to discuss. Wait! I will leave this matter in your capable hands. Sorry. The bartender said you work for the Liberty Security Force. And who do you work for, Mr. Uh... Trent. I work for myself. What kind of ship do you have? <laughs> I lost mine on Freeport 7. I see. Are you staying in Liberty long? I've got a friend who was injured in the attack. He's in medical. I'll be staying at least until he's released. Well, as it happens, I could use a good freelancer, Mr. Trent. I'll be in the equipment room later. You can meet me there. Oh, and if we are going to work together, call me Junie. Trent has a long neck fetish. <laughs> I swear to God, that is the funniest thing. You know, before like these these cutscenes and shit were so boring, but now now they're so much more funny and interesting. All right, let's go talk to Giraffe Neck uh, Junko or whatever. Ah, shit. Hello. I'm pleased to see you. Are you ready to work for the LSF, Mr. Trent? It's just Trent. And yeah, I'm here to see what you have to offer. Well, I found this ship for you. It's very basic and you won't have jump access yet, but this should be good enough for now. This assignment will be easy. All you have to do is babysit a convoy of food and medical supplies. You'll be hooking up with the escort CO King. I'll tell him to expect you. That is, of course, if you're interested. With a neck like yours, I'd be afraid to decline. Sounds good. I'm in. Good. Better get going. I'll have your ship moved immediately. All you'll have to do is go to the landing pad and launch. King will be waiting for you near the docking ring in space, okay? I'll see you when you get back. Thanks. Okay. So, uh, we're supposed to launch to space now, but we're actually going to go back to the equipment dealer right now. And we are going to go and buy another Justice. Uh, I don't know about the... No, not the Mark II. I only have 500 credits, so... I can either buy a Lava Blade, which is like... Projectile Speed 500, which doesn't match my other one. Or another Justice. No. Another Justice is what we will do. So we can get like a police license. Uh, we can we can enforce the law. We can get all kinds of licenses to do shit. I don't really know what they do. There's also like you can get a scanner or a tractor beam. These are just some of the mod additions. It's kind of neat though. I, I, I like this so far. Anyways, uh, I think we're ready to go to space. MySpace. The hell? No way. <laughs> Is it just gonna hang out here? 
I love this bot already. You must be Trent. I'm King, the CEO of this mission. I contacted the lead transport of the convoy. They've completed pre-launch checks and are ready to go. Should be an easy run from here to Fort Bush and then on to Pittsburgh. Ready? It's good to meet you, King. Is that a Rhineland cruiser? That's the Donau, Admiral Schultz's flagship. He's visiting Manhattan to attend a high-level meeting with President Jacoby. Keep your distance. New York Station, this is RNC Donau, requesting clearance to dock with your station. Oh. Affirmative, Donau. You are cleared for docking point six. Liberty welcomes you and Admiral Schultzky. Donau, be advised, we're picking up unknown contacts. Advise caution. Understood, Newark. All escorts, power up weapons. Affirmative. Ready to engage. Roger. Tracking incoming ships. Unidentified ships. This is Newark Station. You are entering restricted space. Alter course at once or we will open fire. Holy shit, the cop is just fell. Oh, my shield. I need someone to shoot at. Oh, I'll shoot at this guy. Alright, so this base is cover, blah blah, we know how to fire. So, uh, basically, if you haven't figured it out already, it's just like a space in game. A really, really good one, too. Trent, we can't let them get away. Engage the enemy. And I can track your and stuff after it destroys ships. Newark, we need reinforcements. No, we don't. Interceptors are en route. The Colorado and its escort are inbound. Whee! Yeah, it keeps regenerating his shields. So, uh, basically this is like, um, the best, one of the best ship sims ever created. And it's really, really good. The guy, the guy who made this is, uh, also, well, the guy who did the lead for this project is making Star Citizen, which is his successor game, because Microsoft is just sitting on it and not fucking doing anything with it. So, you know, all, we're all looking forward to that, but in the meantime, Freelancer. Alright, so when objects are destroyed, blah blah blah, it tells you how to Confirmed. Everybody. No more enemy contacts. We read you. Radar is clear. SAR, report. Did you pick up any survivors? Negative, Newark. We're continuing our sweep. To all utility ships in the area, scan for survivors. All other vessels, return to normal duty, but stay alert. Trent, there's nothing more we can do here. The transports are waiting at Fort Bush. I've uploaded a waypoint to your neural net. Just fly toward it. All right, so we fly to a waypoint. What? Uh, I can't believe it. How did they get this close to Manhattan without being detected? First three point seven. Now this. It's getting out of control. All right, we've reached the trade lane. Engaging activation sequence. Trent, you go first. Dog. So, trade lanes are basically faster than my cruise engine. The cruise engines I just can't shoot while we're in it. Activation sequence completed. Lane jump initiated. This is it, Trent. This is one of the major arteries through Manhattan's space. We're only taking it as far as Fort Bush. If we kept going, we'd reach the jump gate to the Colorado system. Transport leader. This is LSF Patrol Gamma 6. We're here to escort you to Pittsburgh. Over. Roger, Gamma 6. This is the USV Brant. Pre-launch checks have been completed. Trent, take up a position near the transport. Use the formation maneuver to link up with the convoy. Check. This is transport leader. All ships are in position and we show green status. We heard the news about Schultzky. What happened? The planetary defense grid was offline and the order managed to break through. They took out the Donau with their first missile salvo. 
but we never had a chance to stop them. It looked like the Order was determined to keep Shonsky from meeting the President. Hard to believe that this could happen. We better get going. Let's hope for the best. Several convoys have come under attack in recent weeks. The rogue problem has gotten out of control in this area. Don't worry. That's why we're here. Activation sequence completed. Lane jump initiated. Looking good so far. Alert! Trade lane disruption detected. All right, so now we got some combat. Damn it! Trent, get your weapons ready. This could get rough. There! Rogues! Trent, break an attack! We've got to keep them away until the trade lane comes back up. So some things I already noticed is that the game actually does, uh, the cruise engines and thrusters seem to be faster than they normally would be in a default game. Which is good because they're really painfully slow as it is. Um, I like that. That's a good addition. I may have done that myself if uh, if the game didn't do it for me. And the game is actually much more difficult, uh, which is you know should pose to be an interesting challenge for me. So we're going to get this dude. That extra weapon really helps, by the way. You can do that in the default game as well, and the sounds have changed too, as well as some of the effects. And it, graphically, the game looks really, really cool. So, kind of looking forward to it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be in for a good time with emo Trent and sexy Junie and, and King, of course. King King somewhere in there. So I just used basically what was a, a shield recharge thing, which is in the uh, bottom right of my corner. If I if I hit a key, I can use those. But I don't want to take too much hull damage, which you know it, it's a good idea. Plus these ships usually drop them for me. They're usually pretty generous with it. You see, I just got it back. They're really generous with it, actually. Last one. We better get out of here before more of them show up. Couldn't agree more. The trade lane is back up. Let's... Wait! Radar shows new targets. Gamma 6, we have to make a run for it! We'll cover you. This is gonna be close, but I think we can make it without another fight. Everybody stay on course. Trent, do not engage the pirates. We have to get the convoy out of here. I, I think that the AI also purposely targets me sometimes. This asshole seems to be shooting at me. Why are we why are we using cruise engines? Fucking insane. Now look at these assholes, they're just shooting at me. Better get out of here. Fuck the police. The Liberty Police. I can't shoot behind me, so... Whatever. Is King even with us? Yeah, yeah, he is. We made it! Everybody in one piece! Barely. That was close. Thanks for getting us here in one piece, Gamma 6. We almost didn't make it. A situation we're soon to fix. The rogues were better equipped than we expected, but we got what we came for. Thanks for playing the bait. Now it's your turn to reel him in, King. We're gonna unload our cargo. Remember our bargain. I'm transferring the payment to your neural net account. Understood. Transport leader out. Hey, King. What's going on? You'll see soon enough. Go ahead and land on Pittsburgh. I'll meet you on the surface. Alright, and we dock. I have advanced to pilot level 1. Acknowledged. Your request to land is granted. Please proceed to land. You'll find Pittsburgh to be remarkably unexciting, Trent. That's the mining operation. Not much to look at. A lot of rocks, smoke, and fire. But what it lacks in class, it more than makes up for in cheap drinks. Set your ship down on one of the landing pads over there. Again, my skin. I'm gonna cut myself with a sunburst laser. It's an ugly planet. Nice job, Trent. Now I believe I owe you some credits. 
Hey, King. Did you know it was gonna get hot out there? Mm hmm We're not done yet. We're just waiting for the others. What others? We've suspected for some time now that the Order has had ties to organized crime and liberty. They may even be hiding a secret base. I think we're on to something here, and I've called for backup. We could really use you out there, Trent. All right, but this had better be worth it. It will be. I promise you. Oh, and, uh, Trent, now that you have a little scratch, I'd look into outfitting that pile of junk you're flying. Trent Equipment Dealer over there. He always has good deals. I'll see you in space. Man, this mod doesn't have a 60 King uh, costume. I hate it. That's all the time we got for today. See you next time. Bye. Oh, and if we are going to work together, call me Junie.